When it comes to healthy fats or plant-based oils, it's very important to avoid oils that have been oxidized or that are rancid. Now, in part one and two, we talked about heating oils past their smoke point and how dangerous that can be for you, but also putting oils on a salad or something like that that have been exposed to light or air can also make them rancid and be just as dangerous. Now, people understand when there's mold on food not to eat that, but yet they eat oils that are rancid and it's far worse than that all the time. If you've ever eaten any oil in a restaurant that is out in a clear glass bottle with an open air top, then you've eaten rancid oil. And that exists in just about every restaurant that I've been in that have oils for salads. And in most restaurants, it's not actually olive oil. It's olive oil cut with GMO canola oil, and they can actually buy it like this. Now, not all restaurants are guilty of this. Some of the higher end ones can afford to buy better olive oil, and that's 100% real but you can ask yours. Now, when I was in Italy, I used to go to this farm to get the most incredible olive oil that I've ever tasted. And in reality, that's the way olive oil is supposed to taste. The only difference is there, it wasn't rancid or oxidized. It wasn't fake or cut with any other oils like many of them do here. Now, with all of the problems associated with olive oil between them easily becoming rancid, as well as 70% of olive oils being fake or fraudulent from large companies and that it's so expensive. So I'm no longer a big fan of it. In fact, olive oil even has a chlorophyll in it that speeds up the process of its oxidation, making it rancid quicker. Now I have three oils that I like just as much or better than olive oil and taste great too. But if you're really stuck on olive oil, a couple things you want to look for is number one, always buy it in a dark glass bottle. It's either got to be dark green or dark brown and get them in small bottles. The other thing that you can do to protect it further is put a paper bag around it like I have here, and then you can break open a capsule of astaxanthin and put that in it as well. Uh, do it with a pin and wear gloves because it stains very easily. The other thing you want to look for is a harvest date and an expiration date, as well as it has the seal on it for the International Olive Oil Council. And I'll have links in the blog for the ones that I like. I also believe it's important to use a mixture and variety of different types of healthy fats, particularly those from animal fats, as health books like the Gut and Psychology Syndrome Diet point out the incredible benefits of that when you're getting it pasture-raised and organic. Now, some of the oils that I prefer over olive oil are number one, avocado oil. Now, this has even received prescription drug status in France because of its proven ability to overcome the negative effects of arthritis. It can protect against free radical damage, cellular degeneration, and inflammation. Now, research has shown that whether you consume it or use it topically, it can help to increase collagen in connective tissue, which is great for all types of skin, but particularly dry or aging skin. Now, it has a great fatty acid profile, lots of antioxidants, and it probably tastes better than any oil you've ever cooked with because it has a very high smoke point, so it's good for that, as I talked about in part two of this oil series. Now, you always want to look for organic, cold-pressed, extra virgin avocado oil. And I'll have links for that on the site. The next one that I really like is a particular type of sunflower oil. This is an organic sunflower oil that's high in oleic acid, and it's very rare because it's from a hybridized plant. This has a very similar profile to olive oil with similar benefits. It's low in polyunsaturated fats, high in monounsaturated fats, and high in oleic acid and this makes it less apt to becoming rancid because it's more stable and of course, less apt to uh, becoming cut with other oils. Now this is far different than the typical sunflower oil that you see in the supermarket and it's very difficult to find a cold pressed version of this. I've only seen it online and I'm gonna have links on exactly where to get it and which ones I like and it is way less expensive than olive oil as well. Now, finally, another oil that I really like as well is coconut oil. Now, this is good for so many different things. I wind up using it for my hair, skin, oil pulling with it, putting on food, cooking with it, and so many other things. And people at this point are, are learning the many different benefits of coconut oil and why I, highly, why I highly recommend it. Now, the main message is here is to avoid most, if not all, of the vegetable oils that you see in supermarkets particularly in a clear plastic or glass bottle because they're rancid and they're causing so many of the health and digestive problems that people have nowadays. 
because they are clogging up your liver and causing so many of the digestive issues like allergies to gluten, dairy, nuts, uh, and, and so many other things. So you really want to avoid this. In the old days, even with olive oil, this was delivered on a weekly basis like they did with milk because they knew how fragile it was and how easily it became rancid. And now you see them in clear plastic bottles in the supermarket and they have years before they expire. These would normally taste and smell terrible, but they put preservatives, deodorizers, and bleach in it to stop this from happening. And if you don't already know it, never use vegetable shortening or margarine. They're full of unhealthy ingredients and trans fats, which are very difficult to get out of your system. Now, I hope you try these oils because not only are they super healthy, but they taste great too. So more health and wellness information can be found by subscribing here on YouTube or by visiting the blog at theartofunity.com. Good luck with this.